What's happening, folks? Back with another reaction, and back with more from the 2016 gold, or sorry, I was gonna say golden age. It's olden age, although it's sort of stylized with the G crossed out. What's up, Luca? Uh, and I wanted to give a big shout out, not only to Paulie for sending me this and much else, uh, but he mentioned that when I did the first reaction to the implants, that his understanding is that there's sort of a, you know, super group of musicians from other punk groups. I looked into this, He's absolutely right. So Rob Ramos uh, is apparently the guitarist and, you know, sort of supporting vocalist of Strung Out. He is in the band. The vocalist seems like he may be the most unique to this group. It didn't seem like there was too much else in his CV, like, you know, other bands. So that just could be that no one has updated it to Discogs. But another one of the guys is in 10 Foot Pole, or rather he was in 10 Foot Pole from, I think, like 2010 to 2018. Now, admittedly, that's a little bit after I stopped following them. I think Insider was 06, and o, the Insider album is the last 10-foot pole album I bought, which isn't really a critique. It just, in among all the other groups I was following, I sort of trailed off, because I remember not liking that one quite as much as Unleashed, and certainly compared to Rev, whereas, you know, Rev was like a, it's the older version of 10-foot pole, uh, before Radinsky um, left the group because they wanted to be like a full-time touring band and he was playing baseball. But that is relevant because one of the other guys was in Pulley, and Pulley is a group that developed out of Radinsky leaving 10-foot pole. Um, so yeah, bottom line, there's a lot of punk rock heritage in this group, so uh, it does make it more interesting to me. Oh, and one of the guys um, at least spent some time in the Voodoo Glow Skulls. It shows that he's not involved with them anymore, but at some point he was playing with the Voodoo Glow Skulls. So, yeah, shout out to all these guys and, you know, for coming together to make this release, which I've mentioned before uh, when I did the first reaction. I enjoy the artwork, both the oldie-timey kind of radio broadcast look on the front as well as the, you know, 50s UFO um, conspiracies and the, you know, the, the radio waves broadcasting out into the, the sky, which is, you know, one of the things that they talked about in the you know early days of radio like so wait so if any aliens are out there are they going to hear these broadcasts so um it feels like very much of the the concept that the title invokes in any case the next track is all for nothing i suppose the most immediate reading is you know the idea of putting a lot of time effort or um, coordination into something but having nothing to show for it at the end. You did all this and look what you have. You have nothing. You didn't satisfy whatever you were trying to do. You don't have any rewards or benefits for having done that. There's no consolation. Um, there's no silver lining. It was all for nothing. So yeah, it doesn't sound friendly or at least it sounds like um, a negative experience. Uh, once again, I do think we have the lyrics on that sheet in there. I'll check in one moment. Luca, you do make this more complicated. Uh, but again, this is um, from the Olden Age EP by The Implants, 2016. This is all for nothing. really hard to find the groove here. I like that opening. It's a bit electronic. Oh, 
build the car work in this track. I heard a lot of lines there. Uh, before I actually look at the, the lyrics here, um, I will say what I caught does sound like the person is sort of exceedingly frustrated that the other person is a waste of time, that you know they put a lot of time and effort into something, but the other person is never going to change, and so they perhaps find themselves back in the same place with nothing to show for it. Uh, but there's some lines in there that I'm a little curious about, like the, you know, what is it, you know yourself better than, or like nobody knows you better than you, or something like that, which is like, I'm not quite sure how to take that, because I'm trying to remember the line before it was like relevant. Um, but yeah, then there was like the, you know, getting smarter over time, I mean, things are getting harder, but he's getting smarter. So is that because of interacting with this other person, or maybe, you know, even more broadly, people like this other person who, you know, don't value how much he puts into what they're doing, so he's getting smarter and that he's not going to maybe get involved with people like that in the future. We'll see. <clears throat> okay, so, uh, again, th note that my uh, reading difficulties with this is in part the way it's stained, uh, as if it is an oldie-timey newspaper, but here we go, as much as I can read it. It comes to me, it's in my hand, all these feelings that I thought I left for dead. Uh, I feel it deep down in my soul, the memories of you I can't control. You burned your bridge, I draw the line. You know that you have wasted more than time, or more than just our time. And nothing's changed, you're still the same. Everything's alright, I live to fight another day. I'll be just fine, no matter what they say. You haven't got a clue. Because no one knows, oh, it is me better than you. Uh, and then this last line, it's seriously like in the complete like dark brown. I'm not even sure if I can see this. But you... something... That time? That lines? I really can't read it. Uh, and then it goes up to the top. I, there's like a line and a half that I couldn't read there. These times have brought me to my knees, I heard that, and hold back everything you thought I had destroyed. Surrender everything you hate, there's nothing left of me for you to take. I have no feelings of remorse. For way too long, I knew our time had run its course, and nothing's changed. I scream your name. And everything's alright, I've learned to fight another day. Okay, so this is, this is the chorus, and whatever I missed down there, I should be able to get here. It'll be just fine no matter what they say. You haven't got a clue, because no one knows me better than you, but you crossed that line. You're such a waste of time. Well, there you go. Uh, I give up. Stop trying. Won't waste my time. I've run out of all emotion. Finally, the message is clear. So it's partly, like, it's about the other person, but it's really a process of self-revelation. It's recognizing what has always been evident, or what's been evident for a long time, in which he maybe didn't want to acknowledge because he was trying to make it work on some level. Uh, but I give up. Yeah, stop trying. Message clear. It's getting harder. I'm sure that soon I will forget. I'm getting smarter, I have nothing to regret, because it's all alright, uh, I won't lose this fight, like I'm on the tracks and the ropes are tight. Uh, that's a nice damsel in distress imagery there. I can't waste more time, there's no need uh, to stay, because I've heard it all before, because I'm not alright, am I losing sight, like a time bomb ticks when it takes your life. I did hear that time bomb line, that's the one that I was trying to remember that I couldn't recall before looking at this. Um, there's, uh, I can't waste more time, there's no need to stay, because I've heard it all before, it's getting harder, I'm sure that's, that soon I will forget, I'm getting smarter, and I have nothing to regret. Well, there you go, it pretty much was what I was thinking, um, but a little more, you know, detailed in some parts, but yeah, it sounds, uh, again, it's about a relationship, but it's ultimately more about this narrator coming to terms with the way he now sees things and recognizing how he's felt for a while. Um, and yeah, like, I do know what it's like to be in a relationship where, like, you get a sense that it's going wrong, that there's something off, and, like, you kind of, ah, like, well, I'm going to keep, you know, just keep going, like, maybe I'm imagining this, and whatever. And then when a problem does come up and it ends up splitting, it's like, God, I, like, I felt that for a while. I should have known. Like, I should have, you know... I should have moved on this earlier and, you know, at least tried to figure out, like, are you feeling the same thing? Whatever. But, like, there is this sense that, like, you know, maybe I'm imagining it. Maybe, you know, maybe 
next time, you know, we won't come back into the same situation. Um, so yeah, like I sort of, you know, in a, a specific way that maybe doesn't work with some of the other lines, um, I do know what it's like to get a sense that a relationship is flagging before, like long before there's actually enough of it, an issue to cause a break or whatever. So uh, yeah, cool tune. Enjoyed the guitar a lot in particular. As I said, the the guitar and the chorus in particular it had a really like dynamic electric sound. So big shout out uh, once again to the implants. Big shout out to Polly. Luca, you're fine. You acted like, wait, are you like rapidly leaving? No, just giving you your spot. You're good. In any case, let me know what you think. I'll see you next time. Peace.